Thanks, Julie. You know her from her hit songs, Tell It Woo! To My Heart. Don't sing it in front of her. She's here. And every beat of your heart, Taylor Dane is a phenomenal talent and has sold over 30 million records worldwide. She hits mm. the stage tomorrow night here in Las Vegas. She is uh, a dynamic lady, a New Yorker. She's going on 30 years in the music industry as a singer, a songwriter, and she is an author as well. She is Taylor Dayton. She's wow. on our couch. Oh, welcome. Hi, ladies. Hi. Hey. Hey. Hi, hi. Great to have you. Thank you so much. Whew. Thank you. Thank you. Really exciting. Tomorrow night, you are known for a lot of things, but one of them is, is that you kill it live on stage. The you voice. are someone to come see in person. The voice is, yeah. is legendary. How, how I'm so you... appreciative of that. I, you know, for me, it's to hear you say that. I mean, you, you, your fans, and yet, you know, your your peers of mine. And um, 30 years later, you know, I'm I'm very touched to hear that. I went to see Charlie Wilson the other night, Shaka Khan. Mm. Those are the people that inspired me. Oh, yes. And to sit in the audience and watch these artists and go, Oh God, okay, I still got 15 years in me. I still got 20 yes. more. I can do it. I can do it. I mean, you know, it's amazing. Thank you so much. So live is everything. Yeah, yeah. It really is. Watching you're yeah. going to be hitting the stage tomorrow night. What are you going to? Do you know what your first song is going to be? And can you? Share I hope with so us? because my band will hate me if I don't know okay. what the first song will be. Where do you? Because how do you pick? Yeah. No, There's it's not like that. Like we have this fabulous introduction. You know, should be lights, some media, some Ooh. you know, you know, shows or yeah. productions in Vegas. Right. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. So Absolutely. here it will be. Yes, I do know what my first song is, and it's kind of a little bit of a medley as there's a hard song to. It's a. It's hard to okay. choose. Great. Yeah. So yeah. let's talk about new music. Like we know your classics right. and what you do. How is yeah. exciting to do, be doing new music today? Well, it, I love it. Um, I went into the studio. Look, so the last five, six years, we all know that everybody makes their own playlist. Everybody's like on Spotify. Right. And of course, Pandora. Mm, and da, 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 changed da. a bit. So I mean, I've been putting out a lot of singles. So over the last four or five years, so the last single is called Live Without. Okay. It did quite well. It was big summer banger. And um, you guys should all hear it. It's really good. But during this, you know, this is what it was. Yeah. That's all amazing. Right. It's great. Keep the dance up low. See, there you are doing your thing. So there is me. You know, everyone, <laughs> everyone knows this song. The thing to me that sets you apart right away, you know, when you Google. Taylor Dane, yeah. and you're like, okay, I know those hits. Oh, but she's a songwriter. Like, oh, back yeah. in New York, at, you know, with the radio stations, and you started out performing in clubs as a oh, team. Oh, my God, yeah. Like, you were writing your own music, so that's really... I was collaborating, I was writing, I mean, the first song, but really what we did is my partner and I, Rick Wake, is like, we produced Tell It To My Heart. I was a background singer, I was a demo singer, I was in bands, I was in everything, but producing this song. Right. I, we went out, I found it through Warner Chapel Publishing, through a guy I went to high school with, huh. pulled up on the West Side Highway. He's like, what are you doing, Leslie Wonderman? Wow. I mean, I'm 18 years old and I'm like, I'm, you know, in a band and I'm, you know, this is what I'm doing. And he's like, well, call my friends over at Warner Chapel. I'm there, my first year interning. Call my friends. <laughs> Yay, <laughs> like, interns. This is what we do, you yeah. know? We were on the hustle. That was <laughs> it. It was a very New York mentality for me. So writing yeah. music was, was part of being part of the process and, of course, mm -hmm. you know, expressing myself. But, of course, being a, a singer, um, taking other people's words and other people's thoughts and actually transferring them. It's what an actress does, you know, what an actor is. And it's really making people take it to the heart. My thing has always been a connection with people through the heart. Absolutely. You know, and we'd love to see this. We were prepping for this interview and you sent me your TED, she sent me your TED talk. Oh. oh. And I, I wasn't aware. I had no idea. Was it 2013 or 14? When you did that, uh, uh, fifth, fifth, six, six, 16, 16? actually. Oh, yeah. that recently. Well, okay. because that actually spurred, you know, the memoir. That really was the, that was really what what gave me the, the confidence. I mean, the TED Talk was just enormous, and I, my book mentor was this woman, Linda Syverstein, and you can read all her books. But okay. she was like, "You're going to do the book, but first you're doing TED Talk." And there's, there's the memoir. There's the book cover. Wow. So here, here's really the book, and I, I'll just tell all you guys out there. Uh, I you know, always do research on people coming in. If you, if you look up her TED Talk, uh, it'll completely open your mind to uh, what Taylor Dane's all about. And, well, everybody and starts somewhere. You know, it's like Demi Moore's on, on talking about her book now. And, you know, we're in our 50s. I call it the 50s-ish. <laughs> <laughs> The, the, you what? know what was that? Yeah, you got it. Okay. Yeah. And um, but the point is, we is that we, we've 50. lived. Well, we absolutely. Well, you know, we are. Uh huh. We really are. Yeah. I've done it with having children. I've done that with my entire life. I feel like I've always gone against, but with and become, and now it's a norm. But what the book is showing you is, you know, the little the little girl that grew up in Long Island in New York and started in the Bronx and then made her way into, you know, New York City and had a dream. And my thing was always my voice. It saved my life. And yeah. um, 
my parents are still alive and God bless them, but it wasn't, a, it wasn't an easy path growing up as, as a child like that. Not yeah. especially, my father was quite violent, my mother was quite victimized, and there was a lot of struggle there. So it's important that people see why people hold on to something in their life, whether it's a basketball, whether it's a blanket, and whether it's a voice, you know? Yep. And it inspires people because your gift brought you here. So that's And my beautiful. gift now serves Absolutely. that purpose. It ladies, really does. We have to wrap it up. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I love you. I know. I could talk to I you know. ladies forever. I, we would love to have I you love on you. stage for the entire show. Yes, but you, you can see the amazing talent of Taylor Dane on stage tomorrow night at the Orleans Hotel and Casino. Show starts at 8 p.m. For tickets, go to taylordane.com.